electricity all right this is electricity then what is that aesthetic electricity the static electricity so now the question I'm going to raise and that is how can you create the imbalance how can you create imbalance I'll give you three metal sphere these three metal sphere they are touching each other I'm gonna call them X Y and Z I'm gonna bring three, three, these three uh, metal sphere. They are now neutrally charged. This is scenario one. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw the scenario two. What is the difference between scenario one and scenario two? In scenario two, I'm gonna have a positively charged rod. I'm gonna have a positively charged rod very close to the sphere, positively charged. What is gonna happen with this neutral metal sphere? Now pause the video and try your own. This is what is gonna happen. All the negative gonna come as close as possible. And all the positive gonna go as far that leaving all the positive as far that as possible. Well, that takes us all the way back to six thousand BC. Oh, we are taking you back to the Thales, the time of Thales. All right, Thales knew exactly how to create the imbalance of charges. He used the ember. In fact, electricity came from the word electron, from the word electron. Electron means ember. All right, so electricity came from the word electron okay so what is ember ember is a tree you have seen people at his time 6000 bc long time ago used to get the ember from the tree and they used to rub the ember with the cloth making the ember negatively charged bending it close to the tree leaves and ember would be able to pick up the tree leaves now we can do it differently you can do it with a balloon if you take a balloon and if you rub the balloon against you here what would happen the balloon will pick up all the negative charges from you here creating the imbalance of charges on the balloon what can you do how can you demonstrate the imbalance of charges on the balloon? Well, if you can bring it close to the wall, the balloon will stick to the wall. That's how you can demonstrate that imbalance of charges allow the balloon to stick to the wall. Another way, you can, another way, you can show the imbalance of charges by bringing mix salt and paper together bring the balloon very close to the salt and paper the balloon will pick up the paper leaving the salt behind another way of showing the steady electricity on the balloon okay now who is the first human that thought that there is a connection of static electricity and the electricity 
who was the first person who looked at the sky and thinking that it is possible to harness the power of God to light our houses. Who was the first person who looked at the sky and saw the lightning and said, oh my God, there is no difference between lightning and electric light. Who was the first person who envisioned that it is possible to harness the lightning to transform human life by creating a light bulb to light our houses? It was Ben Franklin, yes. Ben Franklin. So Benjamin Franklin was the first person who hypothesized that light, lightning, lightning is equal to electricity. All right, this is what his hypothesis. He also is credited for conservation of charges. What does, what does Charles, now let's take us back to charges. He was the first person who hypothesized that there are two types of charges, positive and negative. Positive, positive, retard, negative, negative, repel, and positive, negative, attract. He was the first person who also credited to the idea of conservation of charges, telling us that if you take a balloon and create some extra charges on the balloon by rubbing it against you here, then automatically there would be same number of uh, proton produced out there making it the net charge is zero, all right? The idea is crazy, but think of a conservation of energy. Conservation of energy tells us that you can neither create nor can you destroy the energy, but you can transfer from one form of energy to other form like potential energy to kinetic energy and vice versa. Conservation of charges tells us the same thing. You can transfer energy from one form to other, from your head to the balloon, and from balloon to the wall, but you cannot create or destroy charges. So he is also credited to the idea of conservation of energy. Now, what did we learn today? We learn about static electricity and its connection with the electricity. That what is the, um, uh, evidence of ele ele static electricity, lightning, for example, is the evidence of ele static electricity we learned today. And we uh, also learned that uh, Benjamin Franklin was the first person who ambition, uh, who make, who envisioned that it is possible to harness the power of God to, uh, to, uh, to create the light bulb using the idea of static electricity in the sky. All right, now if I have a sphere and the sphere is neutrally charged. Now, if I being a positively charged object very close to the sphere and if I, if this positively dark touches if this positively rod touches the spear then what would happen number one the spear gains proton spear will lose the electron
Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.